Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 18 tip video. And today guys, we are inside the 49ers offensive playbook. Now, a lot of you have been asking for this book and I'm here to deliver this book for you guys. So, a lot of you did comment actually. It was a lot of people who actually want me to do this. So, uh, I, I'm here for you guys. So, basically guys, if you could drop a like right now on the video, let's try to hit 40 on this video if we can. That'd be amazing. You guys have been hitting the goals a lot lately. Uh, the last video you didn't hit it, but this video hopefully we can hit uh, 40 likes on this because that would be amazing. So make sure you guys do that. Make sure you guys subscribe as well because we're trying to hit 2K. Uh, we're about 1200 right now. Um, and also hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload so you can get these plays out. Destroy your opponents be before other people find my videos even though I, I'm not that I'm not that big on YouTube. But anyway guys, you, you never know. People could find out how to, how to do this stuff. Uh, but anyway guys, like I said, 49ers playbook. This is also inside the titans offensive playbook um it wouldn't be defense that just would make no sense uh but right here boys uh i would have a nice run blocking tight end on the right side of the field uh garrett selleck uh not really your preferred run blocker so i'm going to put in logan paulson because i think this guy was a packer and but i know he can run block i'm pretty sure i, I could be wrong uh you, you could put in like Kyle Juszczyk if you want to. I'm going to put in Kyle Juszczyk just because I know he's a fullback. Fullbacks can block, so I'm going to put him in there. Uh, he can catch as well. He's just a beast, man. If you guys know Kyle Juszczyk, you know he's a monster. We're going to go over the run scheme inside this formation. So, yeah, so there's a couple good passing plays. I do like this formation out of the Titans book a little bit more, but for you 49ers book guys, I got you. Um, there's some good plays in here, but today we're going to go over strictly the running aspect of this formation and why. I personally uh, adore this. So right here, boys, half back stretch. Uh, like I said, adjustments. I would have a nice run blocker here because you may need to flip it sometimes. So right here, we're just gonna put in um, Logan Paulson, just just because. And right here, the stretch is the play we are going to run, and we're gonna go against their random uh, defense here. So right here, boys, you guys can run the stretch just like this. Here, um, yeah, we just run the stretch of this side. Just run the stretch, and uh, yeah, you're gonna get some really really solid blocks there that was almost 10 yards right there so as you guys can tell getting some nice gains um just running this plainly normally just like that i mean trent brown that guy that guy weighs if you guys don't know trent brown weighs 355 you know how fat that is that's not fat that's all like well that guy's a beast but 355 that's that's big that's big yeah that's huge uh flip the run here went to this side that's why i need a good run blocker pierre garçon just he's got blocked twice in a row i don't know pierre garçon's i thought he was a nice blocker i guess not um, also, you can put in Kyle Juszczyk at receiver if you want. So, you know, they're not really going to know if you sub in your tight ends for, like, receivers. Uh, but you can definitely do that. Right here, double A gap. Oh, they're going to get exposed in double A gap. Double A gap is the easiest. Uh, if you stretch against double A gap, especially in, like, single back deuce close, you're going to be successful. Right here, this is why you have a nice halfback dive. It's it's a zone, but, you know, it's a it's halfback zone, but it's, it's basically a halfback dive. Uh, I wish it dives the blocking sets up a little bit better. Um, because like a zone blocking scheme, I, I think that's how it is. So just to have that dive is a lot better. Um, it's definitely a solid formation to run out of right there. We're getting tackled in the backfield by, I don't know who that is. Chris Jones, the goat. Like as you can flip it right here. I would not recommend flipping it and just keep running to this side. Just solid run. You know, sometimes you're going to mess up, but right here, we're going to get a nice gain right there of, I don't know, 10, was that 15 yards? Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you guys can tell we're running pretty successfully out of here. Nothing too crazy. Seen a lot of people uh, run this play. Just been very, very successful with it. Uh, had a lot of uh, success, like like I just said. Uh, you also have this play action here. You can just flip, uh, do like a little play action. It's, it goes nice with the zone here. You guys can tell right there. Call side is going to be wide open. He's going to spin out someone, truck someone too. I mean, he's not really a, a spinner, but he's uh, he's definitely a trucker, Mr. Carlos side over here. But you guys basically get the concept here. We're going to flip the run to this. Actually, no. We're going to keep this here. Because this is it's very good against stretches. Against a double A gap right there. Um, and 49 team just playing. Just not, it's just not that good. You feel me? Uh, but right there, you guys can tell. We're getting out here. Juking out Daniel Sorensen. And trying to truck on Parker. A little too late on the, the truck stick there. But, hey, we're, we're getting some nice yards out here. Uh, right there. Just going to run to the left here. And Pierre Garçon. See, if you have a nice run blocker. Uh, if Pierre Garçon could have hold the held that for like another uh, half second, uh, we would have been gone. But yeah, even that, that helps when you pancake someone. That's even better. Yeah, that that's just great. Uh, but anyway, boys, we're going to move on. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys this a little bit more. You can also flip this here. You know, run up the gut here. Just you know, here and there, mix it up. If the, if the center is wide open, 
if you can run it up the center like here I would run up the center right here just like that if you can do that then do it but if you don't see opening up the middle uh, do not try to run it Mr. Carlos I chill dude oh my god look at him yeah if you play like that you'd be better than freaking Le'Veon David Johnson uh, four yards right there but you guys can tell we're getting some nice gains here um, just in general all right right here I just I like this one because it just goes the outside you guys know I love me some stretches I gotta run them more though I don't really run them too much but late, I've been running them a little bit more lately and they've been very successful for me um yeah, boys, you get the concept here. And see, you can just, I like, that's why I like stretches, just like that. Because you can, like, run all over the place. You can, like, cut it back inside, cut it all the way back across the field, or follow your blockers uh, to the right, like I'm doing right here, right there. I would just, you know, try to get some nice blocks. Sometimes you mess up, but I would recommend having a pretty good old line, but you don't need it. I, see, I, I'm being pretty successful with the 49ers out here, uh, as you guys can tell right there. Uh, we're going to spin these boys out, and then we're just going to run up the field, Carlos Hyde. Uh, but yeah, boys, like I said, you may, you get the concept here. You also have this slant play, which with well, the Y stick play, not not slant. Uh, it's not that good. Uh, right here, this is like Dickel 335. Um, I mean, right there, we, a nice gain of uh, seven yards right there, eight yards maybe. So you guys can tell it works out pretty nicely. Uh, we're going to move on to the other run in this formation, which is going to be the, uh, you all said this, uh, what's it called formation here? This uh, wings, no, not wing slot. Uh, What's, where's it at? I don't know where it's at. Wait, wing. You have you have wing over here, which is just it's a good formation as well. You know, it's it's a very very solid one. Um, halfback dive as well. It, it, it's a nice one to to complement uh wing slot over here. So just a suggestion, boys. Just a nice suggestion here. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know. Maybe I would run this in the Titans book instead. Like you also have this dive here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the dive. I just like it a little bit more right here. Uh, it really wouldn't come out in the dive. I mean, even though it looks it look very successful there, I, I should have trucked him down. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, you, you guys get this here. I mean, the dive, I mean, it's pretty successful. I mean, how the blocking sets up makes this a very successful dive. It just works out really nicely for you. We also have that counter. The counters, I don't really run the counter too much. Uh, but you guys get the concept here. I mean, look, oh, we just get popped right there. That's not good. But uh, really, I like I said, I would just come out in this. If they're running like nickel 335, something like that, like a, lot, like a lot of guys like to do, come out in here because you can't audible to this. But for the most part, I, I like this better than the halfback zone just because I like how the blocking sets up on that dive a lot better. Uh, it's, it's like, it's like a, you guys remember that counter play from last year? It's like that formation, but like when, when you run a dive from that counter play from last year, it's very successful. So I'm going to show you guys that dive in, in a few videos if you guys want to see that. So let me know in the comments. If you guys do, uh, do want to see that, because I want to show you guys that it's a very, very uh, uh, good play right here. You have a couple passing plays. If you guys do want me to show you the passing, uh, I don't know, concept out of here, the passing, uh, the passing plays out of here, I will definitely show you guys that. Uh, just let me know right here, run up the gut. You know, have a nice power back, six yards. Okay, I'll take six yards on a run right up the gut. Could have been more, but I messed up on the truck stick there, uh, right there. Uh, getting about five right there. So you guys can tell, you're getting some nice, solid gains here. Right there, run right up the gut. I mean, there's three down linemen there, run up the gut every single time. Um, so wing slot here. Um, and you have this halfback misdirection. Not the greatest play, but it definitely is. A it's a nice thing to bring out there, you know. It's not, it's not crazy good. Getting about three yards right there. So, like I said, it's nothing too crazy. But you can definitely put in some work right here. I would just switch to halfback zone uh, right there. Uh, I don't know what happened there. What do you think of the block? And you're going to, I mean, of course, guys are just going to be stupid. The CPU, and they're just not going to block for you. But, yeah, this counter run, I don't really recommend it too much. Even though this is the first run that's getting taken to the house. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, then the, the truck stick kind of met. When you miss a truck. Um, the CPU kind of just messes up in a way, so that's that's a good thing right here. Run right there, and we're gonna get a ton of pancakes here. Uh, but Ron, <laughs> Ron Parker is gonna stuff us, so uh, that definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, run us a few more times, boys. Uh, you can also flip it here to the left side of the field. Uh, you can also motion a tight end over, um, so that, that that definitely works out as well. Do not run this against goal line. You're gonna get screwed over. Actually, you can't flip this. I thought you could. Okay, well I guess not. Um, but you, you guys can tell right here. It's not it's not a great run, but you just mix it in now and then you know it'll, it'll work out nicely for you 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 can also motion I forgot to go over this when we went over the uh, the stretch here, but you motion a tight end over see uh, You can also tell if it's man coverage or zone coverage like if that tight end or, or that receiver I haven't met tight end if that receiver doesn't get followed by a, um, a, a Defender then that probably means he's running uh zone coverage so sometimes it's zone coverage and it'll still follow him all over the field but for the most part um you're gonna be fine right here but i, I don't really recommend the counter too much it's not too great of a run 
Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys smack a like on it. It really does help out the channel so much, guys. Uh, like I said, subscribe if you guys are new as well. And uh, yeah, boys, uh, we're trying to do 2K. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.